Yeah, what's up, people? Welcome to another exciting episode of Riding with Jide Awobono. And here with me today is our mommy, you all know her. Mommy, shout out, no, you can get to have you on Riding with Jide Awobono. Yeah, I'm glad you're riding with me today. Yes, on this um, program, we talk about different sensitive issues that is happening. So, so I want you to have your own opinion about a particular topic. Yes, there is this um, argument about um, equality and stuff where women will be like, no, we're equal to the man or whatever the husband is doing, the wife should also do the same thing. They have 50 50 percent um, rights in the marriage and stuff. But, mommy, now what do you think the responsibility of the man should be in the marriage and the wife? Like, should daddy be the one paying the house bills? Should he also be the one putting money for food, sending the children to school and all? What do you think the responsibility of the man should be and the responsibility of the wife should be in the marriage? Or do you feel it's okay if they are sharing the responsibilities or it has to be the man doing everything while the wife is just in the house, giving birth, taking care of the children and ensuring the house is in good shape? Thank you for having me. Um, one thing is, you know, In the olden days, our uh, fathers they believe that once they marry you, you have to be doing everything in the house. Because they are the breadwinners, they should be providing all other things for the most of their respecting okay. and take care of the home, take care of the children. But these days, when we look at it from every angle, I think if you want to have the best marriage, it's for you to. Sharing with love, not that it's a must that the man must pay the house bill. The man, if there is love, okay. if there is love, you will, you know, we all understand what is in most homes these days. How many men are really providing because of the kind of the country we are in now? Some of them are not in the offices working. Maybe they just, you know, retire them because of all what we are hearing all about. <laughs> That you just come to the office to be giving you a list. You see your name, a part of the people to be retired. You don't have anything to do. You have children, they have to go to school. You have to, you know, provide for their upkeep, you know. And all that, even on health ground too. You understood what I'm trying to I say? Do, I do. I decided uh -huh. to actually because choose this topic because you're an elderly person and you have um, many years of experience. Ex exactly. Yes, ma'am. That's why I'm saying this. Because if a husband has been providing before uh, and is no more a provider because he's not having the job at hand to do, and or maybe he's still looking for somewhere to do business or something like that, that income might not be like it was coming frequently. You know, it was monthly, you were getting it, you were happy, you were doing But this one, not that you are going to meet somebody or that somebody is paying you at the end of the month that you rely on and say, let me program everything according to what is coming in. And the wives these days, we should try to understand our husbands. You know, in most homes today, the women are paying the school fees of the children. They are doing most work that the men are supposed to do simply because of the way the situation is. You know, you, your children are in school. This man, retired him. You can't say they won't go to school again now. The little you can bring, you can support, you will do. Because some men, according to tradition, they believe it's their duty to send their children to school. It's their duty to pay for the house rent. It's their duty to, to you know, to feed the home. You know, that kind of a thing. Okay, ma'am. Right, yeah, but, sorry to cut you, ma'am. With this, do you still, do you think because of this, um, the, uh, the sharing of responsibilities and all that, do you think it should give the women um, a sense of equality with the man? No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. If you heard me very well, I said, if there is love. Okay. If there is love. Nobody will know you are the one paying the house rent. So it doesn't have anything to do with, oh, we are equal. Oh, no, 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 what no, you no. Can, not, you know? not equality. Okay. Man is the head of the home. Okay. We have to, like Christ is the head of the church, you know? We just have to be there to obey him. We don't have to say because it's me that is paying the house rent now, I can insult you. It's not the best way. It's not the best way. You are doing all this because of your children. You know, you can't be a mother and now see your children sitting at home not going to school while others are going simply because the man is being retired or something like that. No! 
you must support. And not because of that now be insultive to your husband. It's not done. You must respect your husband. And do you know one thing? If you respect your husband, that's when God's glory will be on you. Thank you very much, ma. Guys, you've heard it all from our mommy here, Shola Anoiga. She's, a, she's my mommy in the industry, and fortunately, she's been my mommy on the set right here. It's been wonderful doing this with you, mom. Thank you for coming to ride with Jide Awobono. Thank you very much. Thank you for being a good mother. Thank you for the advice. And guys, you've heard it all from our, I don't know, it's our opinion, it's our view. And she's an elderly person. She's got many years of experience, and she's, she, she's intelligent, she's deep. So I think um, you've been able to pick one or two things from what she has said. Or you're free to drop your opinion, your perspective as well. Thank you very much. Catch you later on another exciting episode of Riding with Jide Awobono. Love you guys. Bye. Mommy. Bye. Thank you.